You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. The word is red teaming. Spelled red as in opposition and teaming as in group activity. Definition. The practice of emulating known adversary behavior against an organization's actual defensive posture. Example sentence. In computer security, the red team assumes the role of the adversary group, trying to penetrate the blue team's digital infrastructure. Origin and context. A Roman Catholic church may have invented the concept in 1587, when Pope Sixtus V assigned the job of devil's advocate during the beatification process of St. Lawrence Justinian. The Avocatus Diable was to be the opposing force, the red team, to make sure that according to Ellen Lloyd of Ancient Pages, quote, no person received the honors of sainthood recklessly and too fast. Every potential weakness or objection to the saint's canonization was raised and evaluated in order to ensure that not only those who were truly worthy would be raised to the dignity of the altars, end quote. The origin of the red team and blue team names to indicate adversary and good guy activity respectively isn't a random choice. We have the Prussian army to thank for that. According to Peter Atia over at Media, quote, In the early 19th century, the Prussian army adopted war games to train its officers. One group of officers developed a battle plan, and another group assumed the role of the opposition. Using a tabletop game called Kriegspiel, literally war game in German, resembling the popular board game Risk, Blue game pieces stood in for the home team, the Prussian army, since most Prussian soldiers wore blue uniforms. Red blocks represented the enemy forces, the red team, and the name has stuck ever since, end quote. Red teaming hit the digital age in the form of penetration testing in the 1960s and 1970s, just as mainframe computers started to become useful for government and the commercial space. In 1971, the U.S. Air Force contracted James Anderson, to run Tiger teams against their Multics operating systems, the precursor to Unix. His 1972 after-action report described a methodology to penetrate and compromise those systems, which is fundamentally the basis for all penetration testing even today. In the early 2000s, the idea of a combined red team, blue team exercise, or purple team exercise, became popular to test defenses against known adversary attack campaigns in an intrusion kill chain kind of way. This had the added benefits of exercising incident response teams and accelerating the training of newbie and mid-tier analysts in the SOC. Nerd Reference At maybe the first cybersecurity conference ever, hosted by the System Development Corporation in California in 1965, 15,000 mainframe operators from around the world discussed all the ways in which these new machines could be penetrated by unsavory people. By the late 1960s and the early 1970s, elite computer operators were passing around a paper authored by Dr. Willis Ware and others called the Willis Paper that according to William Hunt at the College of William & Mary, quote, the paper showed how spies could actively penetrate computers, steal or copy electric files, and subvert the devices that normally guard top secret information. The study touched off more than a decade of quiet activity by these elite groups of computer scientists working for the U.S. government who tried to break in to sensitive computers. They succeeded in every attempt, end quote. Word Notes is written by Nyla Genoey, executive produced by Peter Kilpie, and edited by John Petrick and me, Rick Howard. The mixed sound design and original music have all been crafted by the ridiculously talented Elliot Peltzman. Thanks for listening.